I heard you like rigging and making animation in Blender and video game engines quick and easy for a reasonable price. Well, I've heard the same thing about you. Only you do it for free and you come pre-installed with Blender. I think we should compare our features. That'd be great, I'd love that. Okay, then let's do it. All right, I'm not stopping you. Why is there electricity? I don't know, I'm not sure. Rigify versus Auto Rig Pro. Built in versus external. Free versus paid. Who will win? Who will be the victor? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I bought AutoRig Pro off of Blender Market a while ago, which is one of the more popular add-ons for Blender that's out there, and I was pretty pumped to play around with it. If you haven't heard of it, AutoRig Pro is a rigging and animation add-on that has a ton of features like an automatic rigger, modular armatures where you can modify the structure, a bone map for easy selecting, animation retargeting, game engine exporting, better pose controllers, and much, much more, many of which I won't touch on in detail detail in this video, but I'll put a link to the add-on on Blender Market if you're interested to learn more. With all these fancy new features though, it got me thinking, how does it compare to Blender's own animation and rigging add-on, Rigify? This is a free tool that is already installed on your computer, you just have to enable it. So is it worth dropping the cash for something more? In the midst of the almighty paid AutoRig Pro, can Blender's free Rigify match up? For this comparison, I thought I'd look at five major areas of the rigging process. Number one, align so lining up the bones to the model. Number two, binding or how we attach the bones to the model. Number three, the rig itself, so the controllers used to move the model around. Number four, automatic weighting or how the rig influences the model. And finally, number five, exporting to game engines. So let's jump in. First is the alignment process. So with Rigify, it's relatively simple. Just shift A and add in the armature, then scale, move, and rotate each bone so that it lines up with your model. This process is a little bit more on the manual side and you should expect to take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to complete this stage, especially if you do the finger and face bones. You can make use of the bone transform tools in Blender to better line things up like roll or things like the snap to volume function, which snaps your object to the middle of another object volume, which can be helpful when it comes to fingers. The face bones are very detailed, as you can see. You can delete these without messing up the rig generation later on, which is a good time saver if you're doing a simple character without facial animation or lip sync. With AutoRig Pro, it's even simpler though. You just select your model's parts, then click here to initiate the Smart Rig feature. Then from there, you define the key parts of your model as directed by the add-on, such as the neck, chin, shoulders, spine, and ankles. If you want, it gives you the option to configure the facial bones as well, which are much simpler to align than Rigify's, in my opinion, a lot less busy. It also has a feature to easily define the eyes of your model, which works really well at automatically weighting just the eyeballs and not the eyelids and orbital bones surrounding, as we'll see a little bit later on in the video. With everything lined up, just press go, and a majority of the bones will be lined up quite nicely for you. I find that I like to go in and make some minor manual adjustments, however, to clean it up, especially with the fingers, but the app does such a surprisingly good job at aligning things that usually these changes are super quick. So in terms of a grade for alignment, I'm going to give Rigify a B plus. All the bones are there for you, but quite a bit of manual adjustments and lining up are needed as there is no automatic alignment feature. For AutoRig Pro, I'm going to give it an A plus. The automatic alignment feature works surprisingly well at times needing little to no adjustment. Okay, on to area number two, binding. So how do we attach the bones to the model? For Rigify, it's quite easy. Just select your armature and then press the generate rig button to generate an animation rig. Once you have your rig, select all the pieces of your model, then shift select the rig, press control P, select automatic weighting, and you're done. Your model should now be controlled by manipulating the different components of the Rigify animation rig. Super easy. For AutoRig Pro, very similar process. Select the armature, press the match to rig button to generate an animation rig. Now select all the pieces of your model, then click the bind button. Now your model should be controlled by the AutoRig Pro animation rig. Also, super easy. So for binding, I'm gonna give Rigify an A+. Very easy to bind. Just press the generate rig button and then control P. Can't really get much easier than that. And for Auto Rig Pro, I'm gonna give an A+, as well. Same process, very easy to bind. Just press match to rig and then the bind button and you're done. Next up, I thought I'd look at the rigs themselves and the features they offer. For Rigify, the rig is amazing. It comes with just about everything you would ever need to animate a character in either a realistic or stylized way. The hand and foot IK controllers have an IK stretch factor that you can adjust to give a more cartoony stretching effect 
if you want. There are ankle roll, toe curl, and foot extension controllers. You can hide controllers if you find there are ones you aren't using. There are controllers to curl the fingers, which work well. If you want to make a fist, however, it does require some manual adjustment, and if you try and curl or uncurl the fingers all at once, as you can see here, some pretty funky stuff can start happening. Ow. There are great facial controllers to control things like eye tracking, eyelids, nostrils, cheeks, and forehead. There's an IK to FK snapping function, and it works with Blender's pose library to save multiple poses so you can jump in between. For AutoRig Pro, the rig also comes packed with different features very similar to Rigify. You can do the hips, shoulders, and head. Hello. It has IK controllers for the arms and legs. You can adjust the ankle roll and toe curl. You have facial controllers for things like eye tracking, eyebrows, cheeks, and eyelids. It has controllers to curl the fingers, which is great. You can add even more controllers like twist and bendy bones. You can also add extra limbs, which is great for monsters and creatures. An awesome feature AutoRig Pro has is the ability to determine a custom fist shape. So once you have your fist shape configured like this, for example, you can use the add hand fist function to have it open and close with a custom controller. So for the rigs, I'm gonna give Rigify an A. Has just about every feature you would ever need to animate a character, not much left wanting here. And for AutoRig Pro, I'm gonna give it an A+. Has all the controllers you would need to animate, secondary controllers, extra limbs, plus a nice custom fist feature as well. Okay, so now into automatic weighting. For Rigify, I found it to be quite good. You can see here with the leg bending, the hips, knees, and ankles look good. Nothing too jarring in terms of weird deformations in any of these pivotal areas. With the shoulder, we can see as we raise it, there is some odd stretching and deformations that happen around the armpit and elbow, but nothing that couldn't be taken care of with a little sculpting and some shape keys. The fingers curl nicely as well into a fist. For the face, not too bad. The eyeballs are affected by the eyelids, which isn't the best, but most of the weighting is half decent all things considered. I would say that the only area where it is perhaps lacking is in and around the eyes. You can see here that the eye tracking controller sort of affects the eyelids maybe a bit too much, and the eyelids definitely leave something to be desired. Nani kore? For AutoRig Pro, I have found it to also be very good. The hips, knees, and ankles deform nicely with nothing too funky going on. Oh my. With the arm, we see a similar result as with Regify, some odd deformations around the armpit and elbow, but nothing that couldn't be fixed with a little adjustment, and the custom fist feature really shows how well the fingers were weighted. I was really impressed with the weighting for the face, particularly around the eyes. The eye tracking works flawlessly, and the eyelids we can see don't deform the eyeballs themselves. You can see here though that there are some weighting issues around the eyebrows and hair, so some minor adjustments needed there, but the rest of the face was done very well. Overall, for Rigify, I'm going to give it an A. No glaring issues around the deformations in the legs, and only some minor stuff in the arms and face that could be fixed with some shape keys and weight painting. For AutoRig Pro, I'm going to give it an A+. I love the automatic weighting for the eyeballs, and the deformations in the legs and arms were a little bit clear. And finally, the last area, exporting to a game engine. This is the area that I feel Rigify perhaps lacks the most. There are a bunch of different tutorials on YouTube that show different ways to adjust the Rigify armature so that it can be imported into a game engine like Unity, for example, but I have had mixed results. There's also a free add-on on GitHub that can do it automatically, but it hasn't been updated for a while, so I'm not sure how well it works now. All in all, there is no quick and easy way to export a Rigify armature into a game engine that I know of, which adds a layer of complication for sure. For AutoRig Pro, this is an area that it definitely shines. Just click on the check rig to make sure that there are no issues that need to be fixed. If there are, you just need to click on the fix rig button and it's done. Next, just click the export to FBX, then pick the game engine you want and you're done. That's it, it's that easy. So for exporting, I'm gonna give Rigify a C on this one. There are some resources out there to help you export it out to a game engine, but it will take a little bit of manual work. For AutoRig Pro, I'm going to give it an A+. The process to export the armature so that it's compatible with Unreal Engine or Unity is only a few clicks, which makes things super quick and easy. Okay, so that's it for this one. As a final overview, I would say if you are a casual hobbyist that likes to make characters and do still poses for the gram or animations in Blender, Rigify is probably more than you need. But if you are an enthusiast looking to make your own game, I would definitely recommend picking up AutoRig Pro. It will make 
make every step of the pipeline easier so you can focus on making your game the best it can be. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope it helped and we'll see you in the next one. So who won? He said, who will be the victor? All cool at the start and gave us southern accents for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. This guy's lame. Look at my butt. We both know I won. We're the same model.